Grigsby. I am going to show you how to make a video do autoplay because right now on part of my free trainings that I'm providing, um, one of the trainings I'm doing is the power of using a syndication tribe, right? So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to open up this video and what you do guys is you just go to your YouTube video and you're going to click under share, okay? And what you do then is you then click on embed and it works for the um, there's a short version and then there's the old embed code okay so first I'm going to show you the um, short version okay so I always make sure I uncheck mark show suggested videos and then I'm going to show you the short version first okay but before I do that I want my video to be a little bit wider so all right, automatically changed it to that. So I'm going to grab that, copy it, and then what I do is I'm going to go to the actual. Um, I'm going to go to the actual post, and here it is. And let me just x out of this altogether, okay? And what I'm going to do is you have to be in text mode. So everything here was created in visual mode. And then I go to text and I always do some X's here so I know where to go. And I find the X's and all I do is I right click and I paste that. Okay. Now right now it's just going to be the video. But I want it to autoplay. Okay. So all you do is you find the actual link which is the www.youtube.com and then it's got all this gobbledygook stuff, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to find that it is actually, it has quotations around it. See that quotation right there? And what you want to do is right before that quotation you want to add this little snippet and auto play equals one and that's it. And then you save it. Alright, and then I'm going to show you what happens when you go to the actual post and you refresh it, it will autoplay. And you see, that I've got see that? So when it actually starts, it starts at the very, well, we are all members it's of the very beginning. Now, if you are not, if, you're, if your theme, if your website does not allow you to do the, the new code, then just click use embedded old embed code. And I'll show you how to do it with that. This one's a little bit bigger. It's got more code to it. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to go back to that video that I used the short code with. And I'm just going to put some X's where it's supposed to go. And then I'm going to go to text. And then I'm going to go to the X's and I'm going to copy it. Now this one's a little bit longer. And so you want to find the URL, youtube.com go to the very end where it's got the zero and then the quotations and do an auto play equals one and then there's a second URL too right there and there's the ending right there and auto play equals one alright so there's two sections there so it's a little bit bigger I'm going to update it and it should work using either either one for at least the theme that I'm using for my website. So let's go ahead and refresh it. And it's out of playing. And it, it will out of play from the very beginning. It's just that I was originally um, had already which watched part of the video. That's why it started. But it will start from the very beginning. So if you've got a really cool intro at the beginning of your video, then as soon as they go to your page, that intro will start. It's pretty snazzy. So I hope you like that. If so, let me know and we'll talk to you later. Ciao.